I'm here with Dr. Constantine Mile, and we're at Tesla Tech 2012. And can you tell me a little bit about what you presented on this year? And, and I, I, from what I understand, you discussed scalar waves a little bit, right? As well as, you know, a number of other topics in emerging science. Well, this year, uh, I think it's the first year that we have two conferences at the same time in the same hotel. Uh, the first uh, is uh, the National, National uh, Philosophic Alliance, I think it's called, it's uh, NPA. And uh, at the NPA I had, uh, have had today a presentation about my theory, a theory which is behind the practical applications I present at the Tesla Tech conference, which uh, will be tomorrow for me. Uh, I have my presentation tomorrow. And um, what I am presenting is, um, uh, especially on the Tesla Tech conference, is uh, that I want to point out uh, what Tesla, uh, Tesla's ideas had been. Um, he always was uh, looking for uh, applications to reduce the losses for transmission of energy over long distances. And um, he was the one who was uh, um, developing the three-phase system, but as well he was talking about two phases, uh, or only one cable, that means three cables, two cables, one cable, or at the end, no cable, which is wirelessly. And all these uh, systems I'm explaining, and I uh, tell uh, the participants what the positive and negative uh, influences and aspects are. And uh, I show that um, uh, uh, this gives us a chance for the future uh, to uh, have a better technology uh, to improve it, uh, especially if uh, we are uh, uh, replacing the atomic power plants. What is the what the plan is for um, for the politics? Uh, so we have to change our system in Europe anyway, and the plans which have been made are called Desert Tech. Uh, this is why my, the, the title is Tesla Tech or Desert Tech, because this Desert Tech program, um, uh, the European countries have um, decided to, to realize, um, is uh, based on um, uh, thermal solar uh, power plants in the desert, especially in Africa and uh, um, wind generators and uh, thermal generators and, and so on. So a lot of uh, a, a whole network is is it what they have planned to have to supply Europe with energy from other uh, sources, uh, um, despite of the uh, atomic uh, power plants, because. With this catastrophe in Japan, we have seen that this may not be used. Yeah, yeah. So, in other words, they're, they're looking at rather conventional technologies, and you're hoping to you just open minds to more, I guess, more innovative, more radical visions for the future. Yes, uh, I will give a lot of examples. Uh, one of these examples will be uh, that um, uh, electric cars could be used, uh, not uh, run by batteries, but uh, using the wireless transmission system of Nikola Tesla so that they get the energy by driving. Because electric cars, well, we know that it, it is the wish of the politics, but uh, they, they have no, no answer. Yeah. Now, you mentioned Tesla's technologies, and um, that, I think that ties into the scalar, and then that's something that, that I'd asked about quite a while ago this afternoon. But uh, you've done a lot of work in that area as well, right? With scalar, scalar technologies and scalar electricity. Yes, it, uh, the reason why I did this was I wanted to prove my theory. I uh, started with uh, uh, extended field theory um, I was talking about today. Um, which is uh, based on the Maxwell equations, but the third Maxwell equation has to be extended, and uh, which is the divergence B, what normally is put to zero, and I said since uh, 22 years that this is only a special case. And uh, 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 
I had uh, problems with my colleagues in physics uh, because they said uh, if this would be only a special case, if the divergence would be not zero, then magnetic monopoles would exist and never, nobody ever has seen any magnetic monopole. Uh, that was the situation more than 20 years ago. Um, and I had the problem that I had to prove that my theory anyway is right. And this was when I started to reproduce the Tesla technology. And I uh, picked up the uh, patterns of Tesla and uh, especially the one of wireless transmission of energy. And we could replicate this experiment. Uh, and uh, especially we could uh, show by, by my experiment that all the ideas, all the writing of Tesla, all his um, uh, things he was figuring out and he has measured it at his time, 100 years ago, are right. So this was the first step and I wanted uh, all my colleagues to show and uh, to give the possibility to prove that this is right and this is why we were reproducing the experimental kit. And we call it experimental kit and we uh, everyone who, who is skeptic, uh, he may buy it and he may reproduce it. This experimental kit is showing the properties of scale waves. Um, in the manual you will find uh, seven experiments which are conflicting uh, the standard physics. So, oh, really okay. New. So people can use the experimental kit really to, to validate some of these yeah. ideas. Yeah. Now, is, is there a website that they could find this at? Or? Yes, it's on my website, uh, mile.eu. Uh, my name and uh, .eu. This is the English uh, website. And uh, on this website, you you find everything. My books, uh, my writings, my papers. Oh, uh, wonderful, wonderful. Videos and so on. And as well, these experimental kits. Well, we have sized it up a bit. Uh, so we have a power kit for 10 watts, which... Uh, <coughs> gives uh, some more possibilities to show uh, especially the, the lamp, uh, the fluorescent lamp uh, shining like Tesla uh, has shown us before. So uh, these uh, uh, experiments are uh, maybe done as well or to show uh, a transmission of energy uh, without earthing cable, without any cable. So this is really wirelessly. Uh, I would say this is not Tesla exactly because uh, it is a bit more uh, beyond Tesla, but it is interesting to see what possibilities we have. Uh, well, this was done and it made me quite uh, famous uh, because uh, scientists all over the world were, uh, were buying and were watching at this experiment, but it was not. Uh, that they were agreeing with my theory because always we had these problems that the Maxwell equations um, may not be touched. Uh, since, well it's now three years ago, 2009, when magnetic monopoles had been developed uh, and had been published in Science, uh, Nature and uh, very famous uh, journals uh, all over the world and um, the scientific community has accepted that this is really developed and is existing and since three years I'm free to publish everything you see so this it's is wonderful uh, yeah. it's wonderful so uh, I would say that uh, the times have changed and and again people can visit mile.eu and that's uh, www.meyl.eu so for, for more information thank you again so okay